Okay, so the arrival. This is the last stage in the game in terms of plot, as after beating the game, you unlock another playable stage. However, it's just a remake of the original map from the original Slender game. If we use our levitation from up here, we can clip out of bounds, allowing us to do a death warp, skipping like 75% of the stage. However, I think that strat is no longer used in runs. As the speedrunning community has discovered another place, we can use levitation further up the mountain. The house had to go. It can't save me anymore. So the place we can use levitation further up the mountain will actually allow us to clip out of bounds and just head straight to the end of this particular stage. So we skip... I'm gonna say a good 95 to maybe 98% of this stage. Now this file right here is actually really easily missed. So make sure not to miss it if you're doing 100%. Historic Coleman Mines, established 1895, closed 1928. Interesting. Now there's a few more files in this cave. However, you can't really miss them as they're pretty pretty obvious along the path meet me by the street in an hour i left a list of things to bring with you leave everything else behind i'll explain everything as soon as i see you i know how to fix all of this don't tell lauren about me cr so i missed a file in the prologue where we find out cr has underlying romantic feelings for kate and we find out cr's real name is carl ross I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. This isn't your fault. I did this. By the time you read this, it's already too late for you. Don't let him into any more lives. This was all my fault. This can end with you. I let him in. Why did I ever let him in? I'm sorry for placing this burden on you. I wish it was all on me. This can't spread any further. Please, it all has to end with you. I wish there was some other way. It has to end. God forgive me. So, in this part of the cave, there is a, another easter egg. However, I don't think it exists in the console version. I think it's only in the PC version. Where along the wall, you'll actually see something scribbled onto the wall that reads, Don't give him $20. Being a reference to the $20 mode in the original Slender. So, we can actually turn our flashlight off as it's going to get real bright. <laughs> Now, there is another trophy, or an achievement, depending on the platform you're on, that you can acquire in this part of the game. If you make it through this forest fire without being burned, you're going to pop the trophy or the achievement, whatever platform you're on, called Fireproof. Now, in this stage, there's also another trophy or achievement alongside Fireproof, called Tangled. Where, if you get captured by Slenderman's tentacles, you can pop that trophy as well. So, all we're really doing in the forest fire is making our way up to the radio tower, ignoring the fire, the pipe cleaners, and Slenderman himself. So coming in here, we have another file along the left wall, just from the door. And it's just some emergency warning stuff, so not much to really worry about. Alright, so what we're looking for in here is, yeah, that, is a key. This key is for that door right there. Now, the key can also appear right here. <laughs> it never appears for me right there. It's only appeared for me once. And I keep thinking to myself, I wish I had that luck in speedruns, but no. So, in this hallway, there is a chance of Charlie jumping you. And it's a random number of times he can jump you. For example, I've had him jump me twice in this hall before. Rips and tears. Cue the BFG division. So, coming on down the hallway to extra crispy CR, he has a camera that we have to interact with. Now, while that tape is playing, we're going to come back to this door, and we're going to stand right in front of it, as this is going to be the only speedrun strat in the game I actually use. Standing here, Charlie will spawn right as soon as the lights turn off. He'll spawn right in front of this door, auto-killing us, taking us to end game.
And there we go. All right, off to the final part of the game. Now, in this part of the game, there's only two files for us to pick up. We need to get both files, otherwise Charlie here will not move. So, one file is right around this corner. I still see him. I keep looking for him. It can't be him, though. I know it can't, but it's surreal. Everywhere I go, I hear his voice, but it sounds like he's suffering. Like it's not the son I knew. I can't escape this torment. This man, this thing, he taunts me. He eats at my mind. Am I doing this to myself? Was it my fault Charlie disappeared? Is this my trial or my punishment? I need to end it. I need to cleanse this place. No more suffering. No one deserves this. It all ends here. It all needs to go. So, that leads me to believe that it was Charles Matheson Sr. who lit his own house on fire to try and kill Charlie or the Slender Man, I think. So we have one more file right here. Kate, this is pretty exciting, isn't it? This whole mystery, the missing boy, the sightings, the arson. I'm glad I get to share this adventure with you. I can't help but feel saddened for Mr. Matheson. He lost so much. I wish he would have just let me in to help him, the way you're helping me. Maybe I could have saved him. Since I couldn't help him in life, maybe I can help him now. I promise to find out what happened to his son. Perhaps that will put his soul at peace. Thanks again, Kate. I look forward to our adventures. CR. Okay, now that we got both files, Charlie is out of our way. So now we can head upstairs and actually finish the game. So just coming around to the back of the top floor of this building, we should be coming up on Kate here. There she is. Kate, to chase her. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done Slender the Arrival. Now, I believe it's implied that Lauren is dead here. At least, I think it's implied. So, once the screen turns black from her being dragged off screen, the timer will end as soon as the screen turns black. And that would mark the end of a speedrun. So, do I recommend this game? Yes and yes. I highly recommend this game. It is my favorite Slender game. I find that the story and the history given to the Slender Man in this game is enough for people to understand how he comes into people's lives, but still vague enough that it's it leaves the player wanting more. The atmosphere, I think, is absolutely fantastic. The sound direction I mentioned before I think is absolutely b brilliant. And the soundtrack? I don't think the game really needs a soundtrack, just atmospheric noise. And I think that is plenty to leave an almost unsettling feeling in, in a player. And I really like that about this game. The control, I find, is super tight and very responsive, so I'm never really blaming myself if I walk into a wall. This game is available on PC, through well, on computers, through Steam. It's available on PS3, PS4, mainly consoles in general. Hell, I'm pretty sure with the right model of one, you could play this game on your fridge. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and tuning in to the first installment of the Scarathon. My name is Brayden, of course. Have yourselves a fantastic night, and happy Halloween.